New at 11, we've all heard of the elite Navy SEALs and their daring secret missions. But another elite military unit exists that you've probably never heard of until now. CBS 4's David Seta reports. In the movie Black Hawk Down, a U.S. assault operation in Somalia goes terribly wrong. We got a Black Hawk Down. Under fire, special forces jump into action to rescue and recover the injured. It's not just a Hollywood fantasy, it's real. You could actually see the mushroom cloud coming up from a 500 pound bomb. When U.S. troops are cut off and in desperate need of medical help, they call the special operations team that not many people have heard of, the Air Force Pararescue. These folks are simply an amazing national treasure. Fearless, rugged, highly trained. We do what we do because we enjoy it. And we do what we do because we want to bring people home. Our forces have been simply all over the world. On this day, the 129th wing stationed in California is training for deployment. This uh, empty with no extra training gear on it is 800 pounds. Inside this cube called an ARAMS package is an inflatable Zodiac boat, an engine, fuel, and medical gear. The package gets pushed out the back of a plane thousands of feet above the Pacific Ocean. Seconds later, pararescue men jump, follow, secure, and inflate the boat in the water. The flight crew also practices aerial refueling of PAVE helicopters. These are used to conduct rescue and recovery operations in hostile environments. An example, the rescued American soldiers caught in Taliban crossfire. We, we actually took the helicopter. We put one wheel on the ground. We were able to grab him and just pull him onto the helicopter because there was no way to just hop out at that point. Closer to home, the missions are extensive. Things we do that others may live is our wing motto. From fighting fires in California to the Rebel Heart Rescue Mission, where they found a disabled boat in the middle of the Pacific Ocean and saved the life of an American infant. We can rescue you anytime, any place, under any circumstances. 65% of the rescue wing are in the reserves. They have day jobs as doctors, software engineers, even teachers who collectively have saved more than a thousand lives. David Sutter, CBS 4 News, tonight.